So why should people have pianos? Why should they have pianos? Yeah. Uh, well, I think it's universally known that music enhances life. Um, in particular, pianos, um, there's been all kinds of studies that show that kids that have taken piano lessons in, in their childhood um, are, are valedictorians, salutatorians. Uh, um, they have poise. They have discipline. They... There, there's just so many there's obviously general music appreciation right yeah but if you have the dexterity if you practice uh and stick with it maybe a little longer than you did i don't know but if you stick Much with longer it than I then, did. then 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 you're going it, it 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 helps brain function it helps dexterity it helps what's in your mind to come out your fingers kind of thing so there there it a piano has been part of high society for 150 years, not just because pianos look amazing in the home, but because when you practice and you learn and you concertize, you get to that level, the, 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 you have worked your brain, you've worked your muscles, you've gotten that dexterity down where you're sharper in life. You're, you know, there's a, there's um, multitudinous reasons to yeah. have, to have a piano, yeah, especially often, for me. Often the, the, yes. <laughs> Yeah, especially from <laughs> Grand American yeah, piano. Yeah, that's exactly right. But often the people who are the most successful and wealthy are have a deep appreciation for uh, not only you know musical instruments but also classical music. Correct. Um, which culture? Yes. Yeah, more and, more, and, more and, refined culture. Sure. And that, and that comes out in the in the way that they live and act yeah. and such. Yeah, I would say that that a piano is is kind of the not the mother of all instruments, but if you learn piano, you know you can you can transition to <laughs> another instrument f fairly fairly easily beethoven composed on a piano i mean his symphonies and stuff it's not like he took a violin and listened to it and said, i like that on the violin and then you took a cello and did this right like he sat on he sat at a keyboard and he would play and and he would compose that way because yeah. the keyboard the way that the compass of a keyboard a piano is lined up it's it's basically every instrument in the orchestra if you need to compose something for a, a bass then you, you got have the bass your bass keys. If you have to compose something on a piccolo, then you go up here. Yep. Um, and then everything in between. Yeah. So I, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of reasons. For a normal person who's looking to go buy a piano, what should they be looking for? Well, I think the first thing is budget. Everybody's got a budget, right? You have to have a budget. And that's why I'm a piano rebuilder. So I take these old American pianos, fully restore them to, to as new condition. Those are my best. And I would put those up next to any new piano those are my best and then i look around and i try to find good old japanese pianos and korean pianos okay i stay away from the chinese pianos i stay away from the indonesian pianos which is the majority of pianos you're going to find new it's weird man you go to these places and everything is either digital pianos because people's budgets say, i don't want to spend i want to spend two thousand dollars and you can't build a piano and sell it and make even a dollar for two thousand dollars right you right. just can't you can't make them any cheaper than they're making them now so what i try to do is i have restored pianos now and also i have to hasten to add most people when they hear restored they think oh used it's not new it must be used and there's a sense in which yeah a hundred year old piano is a used piano but it's not a used piano. It's far closer to a new piano. Because you've restored. Because it's a new yeah. piano. <laughs> right. Right. And, and so uh, that's one of the biggest things that, that people's perceptions are when they call me, you know, um, what new pianos do you have? Not a one. Not a one. Not new Steinways because I'm not going to be able to find $100,000 customers. Right. Uh, and not new... Chinese pianos because they're junk at any price. I just don't. I don't. I don't want to deal with it, you know. And you don't want to deal with it, right? Right. So um, my specialty is either taking somebody's grandma's piano and fully restoring it to new condition, um, or having, you know, these old Mason and Hamlin's, Steinways and stuff, and other brands. I mean, it's not just Steinway. Um, there's dozens and dozens of great old American companies, but that's kind of my specialty: hand built. American pianos. My sweet spot is, let's say, you know, generally speaking, eight thousand to twelve or fourteen thousand dollars 
for a piano that maybe had come in and had been restrung before or had new action put in. I come in, I either refinish it or I go through and I restring it or do something where it's a good solid instrument, it sounds great. Right. And, and it's about the same price as a brand new Chinese grand piano. You know, the least expensive. But, but much better. Oh, far superior with the lumber core wood and all that kind of stuff, right? So for someone out there who's got a piano, how do they know if it needs to be retuned or restored yeah. or what's the situation? If the piano is uh, tall like this or yep. taller, that's generally a sign on an upright <coughs> that it's 100 to 120 years old. If it's around a century old, um, it, it needs at the very least strings remember we we talked about why it needs strings you put new tuning pins new strings and and it brings back the tuning integrity and the tune the pins tight it can be tuned again you know that kind of thing so and they can always call me or email or text or whatever i have books that if you give me a serial number i can tell you how old the piano is you know and whether it's and i'll be honest if it's worth restoring or not you know but even then Pianos in general are more expensive than people think they are.